I'm gonna decide to do it like this because I'm tired of being lazy and can't be able to set up properly. Is that screwed on properly? I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna keep this going actually. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get my shit in the I'm so tired. I am so tired, guys. So, this is a September vlog if I can actually find the notes and insights for what the shit happened in September. I don't know if I'm talking too close to the mic there. I don't know if you got an earful from me there. There we go. The notes are here. But before that, it's not a beer. I need to stay awake. Ah, it's sweet, sweet energy. But it's diet. Is the diet one? Didn't think there was one. I think I'm tired and <coughs> got <coughs> this thing in my throat. Um, don't worry, it's not that. That you know what I you know what I mean. Um, just need to clear my throat, man. Um, and I'm tired. And yeah, as you can tell, I'm a bit delirious. I've already spent a minute just being an idiot. So I so. September. September. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold the mic like this. So, what happened in September? You tell me. I know. Um, so, I kind of overall themes was like, um, I've got here, it's like international connections, marketing, converting the results for that. And I believe that's for EQ, yeah. So, what do I mean by international connections? Well, um, and it's interesting, um, thinking about now and how we're all living online lives, um, international connections, I think there's so much that we can do there in terms of, um, yeah, online life and really, I think a lot of people realizing, um, artists, I come from an artist's perspective, a lot of artists I've spoken to is that, um, you know, reaching out and connecting maybe people attend your classes. I couldn't attend your classes because you were in the UK. If you were that big enough an artist. Not like I'm there, but you know. But then it's kind of made people like on my level be like, can I get into that market now? Very much so, I would say. Now. But uh, with everybody kind of wanting to return to outdoors and things are opening up slightly, oh, that's changing. But let's stick to um, September and specifically 2019. You can tell I'm getting a bit a bit more professional now. I, and as I say that, I've just made this very silly again. Um, so, yeah. Um, and the reason I'm talking about international connections is because I have friends from the Netherlands that... Um, um, particularly one, Maxime, um, who I met when I did Valley Boys. And then it's amazing how a friendship has come out of that. I still check in on, on her now and again. But they came to stay eat with me at this time, and it's really cool. And it gives me a reason to maybe visit the Netherlands again. Um, myself. Last time I went was on holiday in Amsterdam, but that was the first time I ever traveled by myself. So that was really fun. So I kind of want to do that again, but I have a, I can go see friends, which is really nice. Maybe that random uni pop out too as well. I think they got a picture of me on the wall like a Polaroid. I don't know if it's still there. They probably checked it. Oh, he never came back. <laughs> so a little insight into my personal life there, um, and my history. Um, so um, yes, audition time as well for moving words. So it was. Um, but yeah, I won't get super into that because we're going to get into like moving words and rehearsals in the October installment of uh, 2019 of the vlog. Um, so let's go to the, the marketing stuff now I was talking about. Just a brief thing international, not too much there. But it's just really interesting to contextualize it now. Um, yes, addition times, EQ is the um because my company and this was the beginning of the year two um and i think it was very significant when i talked about the marketing because you know i've been attending field since january at, um so and we're talking about september here so oh, i need it oh, i need that energy um 
um, to be learning the skills and now I'm implementing them into my company even then and it really does it really little things like that little little tips and tricks like that really help and um, it's really helped kind of get to where I've gotten to on my own um, usually doing all the organization marketing for the company but then it's led on to when we get to March this year and we had our own show I produced that like so it's very it's very interesting how that's translated but um, with the marketing um, created the t-shirts um, that um, a couple of the members have you might see them when they're doing their workouts and stuff the fitness of the classes they're teaching online they've been repping so appreciate preach preach to the guys I've got my own um, got my own top Hopefully try and roll those out again at some point, but you know, it's been very concerned that people don't have much money as it is, so maybe, maybe when it's all, um, starts, the world starts mending and healing after these times, you know. Um, there's also Dance With Ease, mar <laughs> marketing for that, oh, Jesus, Dance With Ease, the massage butt, as you've probably seen for other vlogs if you haven't checked them out got a whole playlist uh, for you guys where it was really <laughs> yeah the massage hustle kind of isn't happening anymore um you know i think massage pe people in massage um probably struggling a lot more because you can't really go near the face just put one but what if people want their necks and stuff done I can only imagine um, what the massage people are going through, uh, like we dancers, um, well, myself and others um, who are in the dance community. A lot of them, uh, um, there's some, a couple of them work as masseuse to help like pay certain, um, you know, towards that match, match funding or just more money in the bank, whatever. Um, their other job <laughs> uh, as lots of us um well i would have said half but are people losing their jobs right now um i've had to give notice of mine so Whew. crazy crazy times you can tell i'm really tired <laughs> i can tell i'm tired uh I need this energy drink, man. But I wanted to try and um, I, but I'm trying to squeeze as much energy as I can when I can, because shit's getting real, people. Tons of major businesses, and I've been talking to my dad, and we're not even like 2008 crash levels yet. If things keep going, we could see something worse than that. So. I feel like this is a very, I don't know if it's because I'm tired, but this is a very somber vlog. I've been talking very quietly into this mic. Batman. Sorry, I had to do it. Um, yeah, so going back to the marketing stuff and where I was learning with the field and stuff. At this point in September, um, things were really... Um, what's the show's a lot of... What is that in English? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it was starting to pick up. I think I talked about home truth in the August vlog. Well, yes, I did. And all the stuff that was going on then. So, um, and I think going into October, when you watch the October vlog, um, I'll be talking about like, you know, um, I believe like the whole festival posters, everything's done. Um, things are really at uh, the found showcase, which was the dance showcase that um, happened and all the, you know, kind of artists that were part of that. Um, yeah, so things were really picking up because we had till November and you think, oh, that's a couple of months away. It comes really fast, especially when you're in a big group of people um, trying to get everything organized, logistics. I am coming out post fallout meltdown and like life stuff happening and then burnout. I'm like that, not to say that other people weren't, but that's just kind of like when you take in the real life things happening 
and how you deal with it personally. Just realised, have I had this cable in front of the screen? Yeah. Anyway, um, it's not affected. It's not affected this camera, so it's fine. But um, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, yeah, um, how you trying to monitor, uh, you t take care of yourself, but then I'll see every other people have their ish. And how do you how do you organize that, especially as leader of God that energy? Drinks <coughs> going back up. Um, how do you, as a communicator leader, like being in my own company as well, how do you work with that? Um, so far inside my own company, I think that works, but when it's like, I guess because I'm the one leading it, but if you're not leading it like I was in field, you know, what are the parameters, what's, what's the culture, you know, uh, it's really hard to not, um, to shape that when you're not in a leadership position. It's really the real leaders of East London dance, so, um, yeah, but, uh, it gives perspective, it really does. Um, yeah, fun fact, during this time, um, I was helping out, as usual, uh, with, um, doing my Chisholm Hill member thing, um, but doing the kind of work exchange program that they do, um, if it's coming back I don't know fuck it's crazy man just thinking about that um I have a lot of kind of epiphanies right now in this log this is the epiphany vlog um I'm gonna change the title now I was just gonna I didn't really have a title for it that's epiphany somber epiphanies yeah I like that somber epiphanies I'm gonna write that shit down if I can find a pen but I can't find a pen so we're gonna panic do I have a pen in the No. Okay, we'll figure that one on a sec. <laughs> um, wake up. Um, but yeah, it's really... I'm getting to kind of tired levels where I was. I was working full-time and doing this. Um, I feel like I'm, there's a lot going on and emotional toll. So it's just like... Um, I'm okay. I'm okay today. It's just really... We're all gonna struggle a little bit. It's gonna get tough, guys. It's really gonna get tough. Um, I wish you Godspeed. All the health in the world. Take care of yourselves. Really do. Um, yeah. Oh man, I'm so tired. <laughs> but not the time to slack. You gotta know when how far to push yourself. I was gonna try and bash out all these vlogs, but as you can tell, you know, I, I, I would be kind of not practicing what I preach. And I'll talk about this in um, like November vlogs and stuff like this. I had to take a mental health break th um, last November, October. It was the best thing, and I don't regret it. It was it was the right decision to make, and that's making that decision was based on the experience of not doing that in. You know when I was younger, so um, really important. This is the somber fifty vlog. Fuck's sake! Uh, interesting. Anyway, just now, I ended up being house manager for a night. And on that note, good night. I am so tired, but I think, yeah, I think that really contextualizes everything. I've gone for thirty minutes, f going on to fourteen. This, I'm never gonna get into ten minutes these vlogs. If I do, it's gonna be a miracle. So I'd like to waffle. Yeah. This is... I'm just going to call this the epiphany vlog. But we'll, we'll do... I'm not, I'm not going to split this up, I think. It's kind of a ramble, obviously. But I think it's... Um, it contextualizes this time. And... Um, I've talked about the times now. But... Um, that's okay. Um, because then I'll do. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> do a vlog. Um, you know, we're uh, September's next month, 2020. We're in August 2020 now. Um, again, I'm gonna be so interested. I already have a vlog. Um, vlog, 2018. I need to. Uh, yeah, I need to do it like a year ago vlog. Kind of thing. Um, 
Or maybe either as like a turning point thing. I don't know. Yeah, look back at vlogs. Um, turning points or second wind or second season or something like that. So for the my, this is like I'm now in like that part of my career where I'm transitioning from early career to mid career. So I think there's about a year or two um, involved in that transition. I really do um, when I start getting paid for things. Um, I I've had a couple of gigs for company or just my own stuff recently um, in this year. So that's been kind of good. Small amounts of money, but you know, it's better than nothing, man. So I'm learning how to kind of a little bit, obviously I def skit and projects, but yeah, this is going to be a long vlog. Somber piff and lengthy rambles. <laughs> I really like that. I really need to find a pen to write this. I'm going to write it in my phone. <laughs> It's <laughs> like but this vlog. That's absolutely amazing. I love that. Um, but yeah, marketing, marketing shit, international shit, um, converting. I guess I talk about the converting. But yeah, it it did really convert. And um, in terms of conversion, international way, I've made relationships with people from around the world actually members of mine who i've been working with in greece italy um as well barcelona portugal um hmm. that is how it converts people maybe not right away but a year you know you reach out with people who are all over the world who've had to go you know we all a lot of us london peeps we're in this cultural hub of a city and we're all then spread to all the far corners well it's not that far from <laughs> Spain's across the way and Portugal across the way but you know what I mean like with Greece Greece is about this one but um yeah I think in terms of like keeping to the theme of the vlog that's how it converts not overnight over time however long and the longer you stretch out and building relationships and stuff like this um they don't have to be like iron grip like we are <laughs> yeah but it's just nice and i reach out to people um yeah so yeah this would be a very weird vlog let me write this somber epiphanies epiph Epiphany. <laughs> I don't even know how that's. Oh, it spelled it for me. Thank you. Uh, somber epiphany. And. Um. What was the other bit? Oh, God. Honestly. I'm tired of rambles. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll look back in this vlog and find out what I said. <sighs> but yeah, guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you in the next vlog. And hopefully I'm a bit more awake. So. <laughs> oh. If you didn't know. I've got a lightning rig now. <laughs> Get that line yo. You know. I don't know if by this time this vlog has happened. I've been showing all the different color stuff. But in case not. In case not. This is how we'll do the outro. Disco. Disco. And I will see you in the October Disco Disco Vlog. You're meant to be changing colour, bruh. That's better. Bye.